Mounting sutures onto needle holders needn't be difficult. It can seem a little daunting at first, but it just takes a little bit of practice. Obviously, we're looking for safety, speed and accuracy. So when in the middle of surgery, you're not wasting time faffing about repositioning your needle on its needle holder. So importantly, we want to make sure we're using the right size of needle holder for the right size of suture and needle. Now, the needle is actually the sharp bit and the suture is actually the material attached to it. But we'll just call them sutures. It makes it easier for everyone to understand. If you're using a very small needle, then you would need to use a smaller needle holder. If you were using a small needle on a large needle holder, you would lose some of the surface area, so you would have less chance of sewing effectively. So for example, I have here a 2-0 needle and suture, and I'm going to put it onto this male needle holder. I have a 3-0 also, and the packet represents exactly what size the actual needle is. So that would be far too small to go onto this massive male needle holder. So I'm going to use this needle holder for the smaller one. Now some sutures come in a packet ready to go and some of them come in a second packet that needs to be opened. Doesn't matter, it's all the same idea. So when you put it on, they're always going to be coming in the packet right-handed. It's pretty much a standard. And then since the instruments are right-handed, that's how you would go. If you need to change it to left-handed, you can do so later. So if you look at this packet here, you can see my needle and you can see a little gap in the plastic underneath it. That means that the plastic is movable. So if I take my needle holder in my right hand, because it's a right-handed instrument, what I want to do is to get my needle holder onto the needle just in advance of where the suture material is attached to the needle and in far enough that there's just a millimetre or two of the needle holder on the other side of the needle. So the easiest way to do this is holding the packet firmly in one hand, open the jaws, and you push actually into the packet and you can see that little plastic bit if I turn over you can just see it moving a little bit so I'm pushing in against the needle and then I'm going to clamp the jaws shut now just to keep myself safe instead of pulling it out I'm going to rotate my hand anti-clockwise just a fraction and that releases the sharp edge of the needle so everything's still safe and that's nowhere near me if I wanted to use it from this position, I can just quickly have a look. It's mounted just in advance of where the suture material is attached to the actual needle. And if I look this way, just a millimetre or two over the other side of the needle. So this suture is ready to go. So I can then continue to pull it out the packet and hand it off. Or if I wanted to keep it safe just now and leave it in the packet, I could turn it downwards and lay it down. I use this as a way to remember that if it has a needle on it, I would lay it down on its packet so that I can see that it's a suture in its packet ready to go. It's just one of my little tricks of remembering how I set out my tray. This packet's a little bit different, so the needle's not visible. I have to open it, so I follow this arrow and I do a little bit of a curve as I go. So here the needle's pointing more to the side rather than horizontally. So if I take my smaller needle holder, the same principle applies. I'm going to hold the packet, hold the needle holder, and I'm going to come at 90 degrees to the needle, pushing into the packet a little bit so I can get past the edge of the needle, clamp my instrument shut, turn my hand anti-clockwise a little bit to release the needle, and there it is. So I can have a quick look it looks pretty straight. I would maybe adjust that a little bit. I'm a little bit pernickety. So I would put my finger on my needle holder for stability. I would hold the needle where it wasn't pointy. And I can unclamp and reposition just a fraction. So it's nice and straight at 90 degrees to the needle holder. And if I look this way, just a millimetre or so over the needle so it's nice and secure. And then I can lay that down safe so it's pointing downwards so that I can't put my hand on the sharp part.